This is where their journey ends. Congratulations, precious snack. I would like to just ask, how do you feel about Ose Daniel's eviction? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One. I have mixed reactions. But first, for all of you who voted for your top three last week on my channel, talking about the top three people you want to see moving on to the next stage, I would like to know how are you feeling right now. Then, for you who watched <laughs> tonight's episode of The Nigerian Idol, how do you feel about Ose Daniel leaving? ha i do not know how i feel in fact i know how i feel i feel in the middle the reason is because the moment osset down was evicted from the show i almost tuned off but something something said calm down calm down watch it to the end and revived my spirit today's episode just got me and a lot of people shocked and i will tell you the reason a lot of people are shocked as to why Ose Daniel was evicted from the show. Now, IK comes up and talks about the show, then he brings in one of my faves, who is Rika Sani, to come and sing some of his songs. Rika Sani comes in, sings Thunderfire You, sings Amina, and then we go on to the business of the day. Now, IK comes and says, only three people are moving on to the next stage. And then I was like, okay, luckily for us on this channel we already picked up our top three so i knew who i i was guessing that these are the people that will be going to top three now ik comes and then he calls the first person that made it to the top three and calls quest and he said for tonight we're having two each each contestant to be singing two songs now the first one will be the unplugged version of a particular song and remember the viewer's choice the second will be the viewer's choice now the unplugged version has to be with like a stripped version of a song so a particular song already exists but the contestant will come in and sing the song in his or her own version without missing so much from the original version if you understand what i mean so they would do that and then they would also sing the viewer's choice that's what the viewers want that particular contestant to sing so the first person to make it was quest and the moment i heard quest i was like <laughs> okay okay so quest comes in and based on the unplugged version that she was supposed to sing she sings i don't go by asha I don't know if I need it all. I would say that honestly I loved her performance it was fair for me and I would say that for some reason I felt like Quest wasn't sure that she was going to make it to the top three but she did make it and then bringing about that a game I'm not really sure but I like the fact that she comes in and starts to show and I would like to say a fair note but while I was even watching Quest's performance I was like who are the top two that will be joining Quest because I was already confused guys then ike comes back and then he calls the next person moving on to top three victory bakara and honestly i was happy but then i was confused now victory comes on stage to sing yeah, nobody can deny me that i'm blessed whoa, whoa, whoa. i may be rough around the edges baby yes so victory like i said is somebody from last week that was already growing on me so watching him without bias i liked the way he sang his song i kind of even liked this stripped version kind of thing it feels like an abridged version of uh a cover to a song like it wasn't it didn't feel like a whiskey song but it was a whiskey song but sang by victory bakara but honestly i i was still let me know how you felt while you were watching both quest and victory because while while i was watching the performance i was really trying to concentrate because right there on the hot seat we still had precious mark we had Ose Daniel and then we had goodness in my mind i kind of knew that somehow goodness was probably not going to make it to the next stage but we had Ose Daniel and then we had precious mark ha anyways for victory's performance it was amazing it was nice i loved it and then Ike comes up to break the camel's back. 
he announces the next person moving on to the top three. And that was none other than... Congratulations, precious Mac. Hey! Like... <laughs> Guys... As in, while I was still trying to understand what had happened, I had my friend call me and she was screaming over the phone. Like, how would they eliminate Ose Daniel? Like, Ose Daniel is my winner. I was like, okay, come on. Even I, I was like, wait, wait I... You know when you're about to say, Akpami Jabo, my hands, I was weak. I was literally weak and confused. I mean, Precious Mark does deserve that spot, but somehow, Ose Daniel's elimination wasn't just sitting right with me. I started to ask a lot of questions. Was it that people were not voting? I don't understand. Didn't you guys vote? Do you know Ose Daniel is one of the best voices I have heard on the show, on this season. In fact, in my mind, I'm like, this guy probably would win the show. Like, remember his performance from last week? Hi, by Dekunle Gold. Nothing's gonna change my love for you from two weeks ago. Or are we talking about the show-stopping performance that he had when he did Fella song zombie like have you heard Ose Daniel sing that's why a lot of people were shocked a lot of people were shocked because a lot of people really thought that Ose Daniel even if he doesn't win would definitely get to the finale a lot of people could bet their monies on it but I do not understand how the whole show just turned and Ose Daniel was taken out now I understand that he did win a cash prize of 500,000 for something else but that does not equate to how people are feeling guys i would like to know what you think about Ose daniel's elimination in the comment section and confess to me did you vote i mean like, oh boy now we had to move on with the show precious mark was called to sing her song which is uh beggy beggy by aria star and believe me when i tell you that i can confirm to you that precious mark has sat down and studied the show because the fire that she brought was a wahoo I mean, her performance was powerful, her performance was controlled. So while I was like already feeling like I'm going to put off my TV, I'm done with the show and all of that, Precious Mark revived me and allowed me to just say, calm down, calm down and watch this to the very end. Because I was like, okay, it's like Precious is standing a chance right here. In fact, she's standing and defending her spot on the show, guys. Now, moving on to the second segment of the show. Now, we've had the Unplugged. I would like to know what you think about both Quest performance, Victory's performance, and Precious Max performance in the comment section. Moving on to the viewer's choice. Now, this is the part where I really had to make certain choices. The first person to be called back on stage to sing the viewer's choice is Quest. Can you hear me? Ah, you know when I tell you that sometimes Quest is like, she makes me happy. Other times Quest is like, ah, why, why now? One of the reasons I believe Quest made it to the finale is because of our show-stopping performance from last week. That performance was amazing. In fact, if there's any other word that is higher than amazing, please give it to me in the comment section. But today, I, I must have a thousand she tried, but it wasn't. The, the tone wasn't just it for me. And at that point, I was like, if these other two coming up perform more than Quest. Hmm. It might be somebody might be going home next week Sunday, guys. But let me know what you think about her performance in the comment section. Now, moving on to the second person that performs for tonight is none other than Victory Bakara. Now, the viewers chose Happy by Pharrell. The swag, the energy, and the finesse that Victory brings to every performance going forward or from the last performance till now. I really have to give it to him. Like I said earlier, it feels like this guy from last week was already growing on me. This guy is a competition. Like he's somebody that from the beginning of the show, I really didn't see going this far, but he is going this far. In fact, he's already this far. Even Obi Asika had to come and say, Victory, there is no way you're not going to make it to the finale. Oh, Jab, yeah, he immediately said it. And then Simi was like, hey, hey, hey. Well, Obi was like, I said what I said. I said what I said because victory delivered happy, 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 I ain't going happy, happy. simply put victory had the right energy for this performance i know how my boss always says this you're always good as your last performance this one <claps> now moving to the icing on the cake the last but not the least performance for tonight is coming from precious mark singing ha! 
Diamonds by Rihanna. Now this lady starts how? And then Precious Mark unleashed the dragon. You know how I said that I think Precious has sat down to really study the show now not it's not only about getting the votes it's also about giving a show-stopping performance that performance meant every word of business Diamond. i literally had goosebumps like this is another performance from precious that i am so proud of i was like wow woo. plus that gown gave it everything i mean the ambience the gown her courage the power the fire what honestly after watching her i was saying to myself that this is going to be between victory and precious if you have a contrary opinion let me know in the comment section like going to the finale these are the guys that i believe will be going forward to the finale that, that that's it for me but let me know what you think in the comment section guys like i said i'm just in between emotions because honestly for a lot of people even for me i really saw osa daniel go far so guys going forward please do not forget to vote anyways guys let me know what you think about the show in the comment section i would love to know who your top two to the finale are plus guys don't forget to vote thank you so much for watching i got you with more right here on this channel till next time guys remember to enjoy every moment